Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Kelly Stewart at Kelly in Vegas on Twitter. And football season's right around the corner. I can't wait. I'm gonna give you guys a nice little promo code here to start from my boy Ralph. Ralph last year, 97-69 and four in NFL and college football. He increased his client bankroll by over 63%. Right now, NFL is priced at $8.99, but you can get it through Sunday for $4.99. No coupon code needed. Even better, NFL college football through the championship game is $12.95, but right now you can get it for only $7.99. That saves you almost 500 bucks off the early bird price. And the man next to me needs no introduction, but this is Ralph Michaels at CalSports LV on Twitter. Ralph, you have four September super systems, as you like to call them. We're going to talk about handicapping some NFL early on. These four systems a combined 59 and 8, 88%. Wow. And, you know, we've talked about systems and angles and when you can use them. I think the NFL is the best league to use systems in. There's so much parity from top to bottom. Yes, when New England's playing the worst team, they may be a 17-point favorite. But for the most part, if you find situations that work in the NFL, they work for multiple teams. And that's the difference between the systems and the angles. The first one I'm going to give you, all of these are weeks one through four. Okay. So these are all early that you can use. These have all gone back multiple years that you can save for future reference. Number one is division dogs, week one. It doesn't get any easier. <laughs> you, division, you got all my attention right now. Division dogs, week one, since 2014. You're going to love this. Not only are they 17-4-1 against the spread, 81%, they are 11-10-1 straight up. Wow. I think so often we hear about division rivalries mid-season and late season, and you hear a division opponent, but you never hear division rivalry week number one in the NFL, but they are. The teams are very familiar with each other. Here are the five teams that are division dogs week one. Green Bay is at Chicago. The New York Giants are at Dallas, Washington at Philly, the Jets are home against Buffalo, and Denver is at Oakland. Now, again, you're going to see the Giants and the Jets, a pair of teams that are ugly as can be, but we know week one that often leads to success, a close game, or an outright win. Wow, I love that one. All right, Ralph, what else do you have for us? Week number two in the NFL Taking you through the scenario, teams go through the preseason. You know no one plays week number four of the of preseason. Week number one, if you are traveling on the road and you're facing a team in a season opener against that opening home crowd, it's a tough venue to face. Everyone has excitement week one. If you are on the road for a second straight week, it's a very difficult situation. Those teams since 2015 are 2-13 and 13 straight up, one and 14 against the spread. Wow. It's that simple. Play on a week two road team that was also on the road week one. Again, you got a 50 50 shot that you played a team's home opener, and then a 50 50 shot you played a team's another home opener. You didn't play week four of the preseason. You had less time to practice week one because you're on the road. You had even less time to practice week two because you stayed on the road. One and 14 ATS since 2015. Those week two teams that are on the road for a second straight week, San Francisco at Cincinnati, Buffalo at the New York Giants, Kansas City at Oakland, and Indianapolis at Tennessee. Damn, I was really hoping for a fifth again, so I had my week one and week two super contest plays. The third one, and this is another one that is, it obviously isn't valid week one, because it's you play on a home dog off a straight up loss. Now this one's a little tighter. It's only weeks two and three. And week four evens out, it flattens out, it's closer to 50%. But NFL home dogs off a straight up loss, another spot straight up. They're 13 and 11 straight up. And they're 18 and six ATS. But if you have a week's two or three home dog off a straight up loss, with a low total of 43 and a half or less, they're 12 and 0 ATS. Wow. So you have a home dog, and we know there's so much overreaction week one of the NFL. Always. That week two and week three, that's why this is so successful. A team may have just had a bad matchup 
in week one or week two. Now they're playing the next week. They're off that loss. They're at home. It could very well be their home opener or they're excited. So again, just an NFL home dog off a straight up loss weeks two and weeks three. All and right. the fourth and final one to get us to our 59 and eight mark. You play on an NFL home team off a loss. If in their last game, they rushed for under 50 yards. Now, wow. weeks two through four, I mean, it makes a lot of sense because, yes, the team is off a home loss, but it's a different loss if you can't rush for 50 yards. You've had some issues. You have O-line issues. Yeah, you have absolutely. a young quarterback, and they could stack the box. You don't have the running attack. Well, if you have a weakness that, that you can't rush the ball one week, the teams the next week expose that weakness. You are... This is a situation where you're six and 13 straight up with the line of being a favorite. So when you find that situation that an NFL team is off a loss and they only rushed for 50 yards, if they're the favorite, don't be afraid to bet against them on the money line. Six and 13 straight up on the money line, three and 16 against the spread. So four easy angles to use. There's nothing you need to figure out. There's only one of them rushing for 50 yards. They even need to look at a box score. They go back from 2013, 2014, 2015. Easy NFL systems, again, a league of parity. It shows how much we overreact from one week to the next. Great stuff, as always, from Ralph. Make sure you guys are giving him a follow on Twitter, at CalSportsLV. And as I mentioned right now, you guys can get Ralph's NFL and college football, normally priced at $12.95, almost $5. 100 bucks off if you guys are looking for an NFL and college football package. Now is the time to buy at wagertalk.com.